All right, people, we're at the freaking beach. You seeing this shit? And I'm on the uh, freaking three-wheel electric. Johnny's letting me use. How badass is that? <laughs> Dude, when you're going real fast, you gotta be so careful with this. So, like millimeter turns. So. I could just sit here like a fat butt and just not use any electricity. I mean, sorry, not use any pedal power, but I'm trying to get a little pedal power going. So God bless Johnny and his bike, but this one's got a little bit of wobbles. It's all good though. So it's like, it's like you're an astronaut sitting in a, in a shuttle getting ready for launch. That's the, the, the kind of the seat position you're in. And, uh, you guys seen this shit with the ocean and whatnot? I mean, come on, this is freaking brilliant. My God, on a freaking Wednesday afternoon. Now we're riding with music, people. <clears throat> How about that? How about that? If I don't stay close to him, I lose, I lose connection. Johnny's uh, folding mechanism latch is not staying engaged. Not good, people. They talk about the life. They're talking about this right here. Yeah, man. No, it's about the girl. It's like riding in a car when you're like going slow like this. Just so mellow. You just coast without even thinking about it, you know? You almost fall asleep. Imagine you got your foot, <clears throat> your th your throttle, uh, the throttle thing over here engaged with your palm <clears throat> and you fall asleep. And you're just like a missile, just going for ye miles and miles and miles on something like this because it's so straight. <clears throat> Me to just take this home. Oh, there he is. He's already back. Look at this shit, dude. This is this is like seriously off-road shit hit right here. This is like Whistler in Canada, like that downhill track. That's what this is like. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, people. My, my is on me. Really? Did 
Do you have the tools? It's like the limbo. <laughs> so what are you going to do? All right. Back on the path, peoples. Okay. I thought we were going left and it was over. <clears throat> Apparently it continues. I don't know where the hell this thing goes, but it goes somewhere. <clears throat> you also don't want shit in your pockets. I don't know. It's like if you think about it, when you're si sitting on a bike upright, everything falls down to the bottom of your pocket. Here, everything falls to the top of your pocket because you're like tilted back, you know? Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to hold that faster than this. I don't know what the hell he's saying. I don't know if he's talking to me or not. I'm just trying to enjoy the day with you people. You know what I mean? Redondo Beach Hotel. So that's where we are, people. We're at Portofino Way and the Redondo Beach Hotel. The green, the green is go. Oh. Run. Oh, there's a green up there for bikes. I didn't know that. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, he wants to go fast. I don't think I can pedal. I'll have to get exercise another day. He wants to go fast, as they say. As the kids today say. He wants to go fast. See, here's the thing with these. You want to have... <clears throat> We're almost in good shape because we have these stupid poles sticking out. But you want to have um, like a red flag sticking out of the back, you know? And they sell them. I think I would have one if I had one of these bikes that I owned. We definitely got a big red or orange flag, you know? I have no idea what that was. <clears throat> so you ride with the wife on this? Yeah, I can't imagine she'd like find it comfortable or too much finesse required, you know? So it's interesting, down here by the hand handbrake <clears throat> is a, this circular dial with a little knob sticking out and you use your, your palm of your hand to engage it. It's very bizarre, but it works. <clears throat> We're going 18 miles an hour, 19 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour. We're going 21 miles an hour, people. And you just gotta be really careful with the with the the sticks, you know what I mean? Wait, what happened to him? Oh, this thing come apart. <coughs> He's having problems with his. I 
Okay, now he's all right. Doing a turn on this thing, you gotta like do a freaking limbo. You gotta like really twist your hips. <clears throat> All right, people, look at this shit. Making friends everywhere we go. <clears throat> so a lot of these bikes have, well, they have suspension though. Bottom line is if you didn't have suspension on a bike like this, you definitely want to have these kinds of tires. Like you could lower these tires and get more, more bounce, you know? It gives you some level of, <clears throat> of comfort. If you didn't have suspension and you had skinny tires, you're feeling it, man. You're jostling all over the place, you know what I mean? So. Feels like Venice. It's better. It's clean. Yeah, it is. Uh, listen. You see, cops follow me. Because this is illegal. What is? What we're doing? Yeah. Oh. Follow me. We're breaking laws, people. Everywhere we go. I gotta believe cops have something better to do <clears throat> than to pull over a couple of chaps on a Wednesday riding some bikes. Really? That's what you're gonna do with your time? So, if you got nothing else going on, then you're just an asshole <clears throat> cop, you know what I mean? If I was a cop, I wouldn't do shit like that. I'd be like, guys, you can't be here, you know? Be cool, and that's it. I wouldn't freaking give anybody a ticket or get harass them, you know? So I thought like in the dirt, you could slide on these things, you know? You can't, you can't. <clears throat> So instead of having three wheel, two wheels in the, the in the back and one in the front, <clears throat> which I've ridden uh, the Kaysen trike, and uh, <clears throat> it's uh, <clears throat> you gotta be real careful how you turn. You gotta really like slow down and turn, otherwise you're gonna tip. <clears throat> this is a little different feel. Um, you don't have to like lean, but once you get going real fast, there's just not a lot of stability in terms of turning at high speed. So it's a lot more stable than two in the back and one in the front, but it's still, it's just a little weird. <clears throat> Hard to explain. I will continue to tell you what I'm thinking as we ride. So yeah, this is like, I guess Redondo Beach. Really nice. Really clean. Look at this shit. This is where the better. Oh, this is Hermosa Beach. We're at Hermosa Beach. Yeah, he's wanting to slow down a little bit. <clears throat> Don't want to scare the the natives. You know what I mean? Don't want to frighten the residents. <clears throat> so we got some red lights up here. I don't exactly know what that's all about. I don't know that I really need to slow down. Do I? <clears throat> so usually when I'm riding on a bike path with my wife, when we're riding regular bikes, you see somebody with one of these bikes. And it's like, huh. I never really knew what to think of it. But now it's like, I get it. <clears throat> it's comfortable. It's, you know, you can coast without having to worry about falling over. <laughs> You know, you're sitting down, you know, not in like an upright position, like on a bike, you're sitting down like in a chair and it's comfortable <clears throat> even without suspension. So I get it, but, um, yeah, I just, you know, that's all I'm saying. I get it now. <clears throat> and I've always wanted to ride one of these. So thanks to Johnny on the spot <clears throat> for letting me, maybe I'll just call him Johnny on the spot. <clears throat> J-O-S, I call him Joss, Jones. You guys got a lot going on over there. I won't crash, man. You don't have to worry about me. No crashing for this guy. 
A little bit of wobbles, people. I will, I'm not going to lie. A little bit of wobbles. But man, are we freaking living large. Are you seeing this shit? Whoa, shit. Whew. So yeah, having suspension would be a whole nother ball game. A lot of these have suspension. Uh, Utah trike ones, but I tell you, he got this fairly inexpensively, but these bikes, you know, good quality and uh, with uh, suspension, I mean, they go for like all said and done, like six, seven grand, you know. Keep in mind, you got two sets of uh, derailers, two sprockets, three tires, three wheels, you know, and uh, yeah, so that's just got a lot of components to deal with. But yeah, when you put it, like some of these even cost four or five grand, like a decent one or more without the electric. Then you add the electric to it and you're looking at another 1800 or so. So yeah, you're at six, seven, eight, easily, easily 10 if you wanted to. I don't know where Johnny went. All right, people. We're back. Just like that. Just like that. We're doing off-roading now. Are you seeing this shit? Holy bejesus. Look at this shit. All right, gotta be, gotta be careful on the sticks. It's got a little bit of jostling going on, you know what I'm saying, people? Oh, there's a dog that doesn't like bikes. We're tilting, people. We're going sideways. And we're going up hills and in grass and all kinds of places. You seeing this shit? This is some serious off-road shit. This is like the biggest hill I've ever been up. Come on, mofos. I turned down the freaking, I didn't turn the gear down enough. All right. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go sideways down that. I'm going to go down, down. I'm not so great at the, the sideways down shit. You know what I mean? Like, you got to lean a lot. <laughs> it's a hoot, man. It's, it's a, a hoot nanny. Yeah, it's okay. The only thing we're missing is reverse. Other than that, this yeah, thing is brilliant. 